Hello, little mushroom spore thing. Oh my god. And welcome back to Waking Mars. I uh, don't remember much about what we were doing here. I haven't played this game since last year. I mean, that, that isn't just a joke. I have a very hard time remembering what the hell was going on. We're going down to this, like, quartz symbol thing. And, yeah, we did this whole, like, weird pinball Megazoa thing in the lava section, tiny lava section, that doesn't seem like you can complete with the biomass. I also forgot that we can just, like, teleport. So I could just teleport over here and go down here if we want to. That's kind of a nice thing. Like, now that we have this teleport point, I can just teleport away. Hmm. Should I do that? And what was this? I also noticed that here we have these things that I didn't really uh, notice either. Current objective in this zone is increase biomass, but our overall mission objectives is get to base camp, seek more evidence of sentient life, and investigate Octo's distress signal. So, Octo's distress signal is down here, this is the evidence of sentient life, I guess, and this is something that Octo took a photo of, I guess? So I, I guess we'll at least like have a quick look in here, in the meadow. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I mean, seems like there's quite a lot of biomass in here. Do we really need to even do anything? There is so much in here! And lava. More of these things. Oh, what was that? Just an overview? Yeah, Alright. Hello, Psychots are here as well. Over here is the Psychot Hive. Is that in here? I guess? Let me just, like, infiltrate. Yeah. They don't seem to, like, have anything special, for the most part. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Good. Oh. What could we plant here that would not just, like, die instantly? Well, I guess I don't have much choice. Let's go for uh, just one of these. Oh, let's go for one of these. And a water plant here. And let's water it as well. No, no, no. Ah, whatever. So there's a cerebrain opened. And I assume things can die here quite a bit, so we could probably get some... Uh, some stuff. Some uh, fertilizer. I, I hesitate to plant a bunch of bomb plants. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, it killed him! Okay, so they can just kill those and then uh, spit out seeds as well. Hmm. There's one of these. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, what the downside is of just getting more psychots, other than just they're annoying and dangerous, but they do seem like one of the better ways to get biomass. Just, like, breed a whole lot of psychots. And this just goes up to here, probably. And this goes down to here. Yeah, I mean, I guess now we've seen the screen. I'm just gonna teleport away. Let's just teleport over here. And what's going on, like, these ones? Canyon Vista. The Hallows. Ah, it's like... The... Nope. Never mind. I was gonna say, these ones, you like, uh... Uh... You have biomass, and these ones you don't, but that's not true. Maybe it's just like these ones are something where there's something significant to to do. Oh, is it biomass? Oh, it's like based on biomass. So I guess these ones are like 
minimum biomass because you can't have biomass there, but then why wouldn't this one be? I don't know. I'm not sure what the different markings are about. But why? Why are we at such low biomass here? Can I do anything about that? I mean, I guess I shouldn't really worry about it. Like, we should just say screw biomass. We'll just get as much biomass as I need for whatever I actually want to do. And other than that, it's probably not really worth bothering with, at least until further notice. Maybe once we get to, like, the end of the game, there will be a, an achievement about getting max biomass or something. So let's not worry about it too much. So here... It's another mushroom area. And that just takes us down again, so let's check in. Is that ice? Icicles. The broken reservoir. Attention. Oh god! This fertile terrain is anti-useful! It's Some such a jump scare! Here. What can you tell me about its condition? It has regressed into a dormant state due to extremely unfavorite environmental conditions. Alert! This state permits it to survive. If conditions improve, this fertile terrain will become useful again. Yeah, I hate that thing about this game. Like, why did they make the cutscenes just start? Just instantly? Like, it's it's so jarring. Instead of just having it, like, you land and then maybe it zooms out and starts showing, like, the portraits or something. And then it's like, attention, you know, like, give us a second before you start the, the cutscenes. It is actually a jump scare every fucking time. And also, just because of my settings, like, I, I think I'm gonna race this up a little again, even though that means I have to, like, tweak more stuff in editing. It's just very annoying to have, like, for me, the voices are actually deafening. Like, they are so loud, but in the video, that doesn't happen. It's, it's a different balance, so it's just very annoying. And I can't say I'm a huge fan of the audio mixing in this. So I wasn't even, like, paying attention to what he was saying, but I assume I can't plant anything here? No. So we probably need to do something out here in order to fix this place. Leon, why am I getting your signal? Are you close to the surface? And she didn't jump scare me, at least. I've discovered another reservoir. This one is severely damaged. Wow, you're not kidding. Its shell is ruptured. This canyon was formed by tectonic faulting during the Hesperian period. That's more recent than most of Left Cavern. Probably ripped the reservoir in half. So the cave interior is exposed to the surface. That explains these hostile conditions. It is cold, dry, and low in atmospheric pressure. Nothing lives here. Even the fertile terrain has frozen. However, I believe there is hope. Do you think you can patch the hole? That would definitely help warm the reservoir up. Yes. I have already encountered a life form that I think can seal this leak to the surface. I have? The bombs? What do you mean? No? What do you what do you mean I've already encountered a life form? I don't remember encountering a life form that could do that. What is he talking about? Like water wouldn't work, would it? I mean that would just turn into ice, and then it would warm up, and then it would melt again, and then it would cool down. Yeah, I don't understand what they're talking about there. Patch the hole in the broken reservoir. How? Oh, that works. Sure. Let's go down here. The Cascades. That's taking us close to base camp. Yeah, Alert. oh. This 
chamber is yeah, it's it's just art. Art just yeah, jump scares you every fucking time, cause he like he's so harsh surface. sounding and so loud Attention. compared to everyone else. In excess of the life sustaining threshold of previously unknown life forms of Mars. Hmm. Are we not directly below the broken reservoir, Art? No. Our horizontal position is approximately 0 0.13 meters southwest of the broken reservoir. When the reservoir is fixed, water will flow here. So I should explore this now? Art, what are these formations? Scanning. I have detected that these niches form an ideal habitat for Ledonzoa. The life forms at the opening to the niches is symbiotic with bleed on Zoa and will obstacle any non Zoa from passage. So, if anything is to be planted here, it will have to be the floating seeds of the lead on. The fertile terrain here is still barren, however. That must be fixed before any planting can happen. Yeah, they spelled that out. Weird that they uh, didn't talk about that when I went to the west. So, it's like. The map is so open that you can go in many different directions, but you have to go to very specific areas to learn about specific mechanics. So like, even though I came here first, they don't tell me about that mechanic because I haven't been here, which is like, where you learn about these things. So, kinda strange. You'd think they would have like, flexible requirements. Oh, that just drips acid on this thing. What? Wait, why did I... Oh, acid. Huh? Where are we going? We can go down right. And here, and here. I mean, at this point I almost feel like, why not go down right? Random water seed? Can't bonk it with my head. I don't know if you want to, like, break all of these. I just feel like, why not? But maybe that makes some things harder. Like, that would ferry some seeds. Oh, we got two entrances to that hive. Got lava again. Ow. Uh, why is this, like, frozen over when there's lava? I mean, I guess it's just because there's no water, so it's, like, dried up. Warning! Scans indicate a proximity to the planetary surface. And we have attained significant depth in this cave. We may be approaching an exit, Hart. But do I want to? Is the question. Do we want to continue here? Because I guess the other objectives are uh, optional, but... I think I'll check it. provide access out of the cave but hey you're right next to it I think you're gonna make it old fella ah uh. very generous with your words Amani I hope you are correct yeah that that writing is uh questionable Amani I've reached a dead end 
This is not an exit after all. What? No, 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 no way. That area is like totally not solid on the scanners. All kinds of little chambers and stuff. But they do not connect. I found no other passages in this way is blocked. Blocked by what? Maybe I can do something from here. Or maybe some of the base camp equipment. Um, I... I'm not close enough to the surface for you to help. But, hmm. The boulders blocking this tunnel appear to be weak. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have a pry bar or something? They are far too large. I will need to destroy them with explosives. Explosives? Where are you gonna get explosives? My pocket. This ecosystem has a... The Ferenzoa! Its seeds totally blow up. You can blast your way through those boulders. Get to it. We'll have a lot of exploding to do. Yep. Yeah. But now I'm then wondering, should I do this right now? I mean... Oh, we only have one. So never mind. Uh, I guess I need to plant this somewhere and get more anyway, so... Let's leave for now, and yeah, why not just teleport? Why am I flying around? So let's go up here instead? Oh, we can't. Yeah, okay, that's blocked off, so let's go back here instead. The fast travel is nice because it's very, very quick. Like, the loading is instant. So can I go down here? Yep. So what are we looking at here? Guess I'll get some bombs here. Doesn't seem like this could, like, cause any harm here. There we go. Psychots. Big hive. That's kind of good. Means more room to move around so you can actually, like, avoid them. Oh, water seeds. Hello. Uh, I don't know why I would want to go in there. Yeah, Cerebrain, we can't open. We have to plant a bunch of things here. I guess I'll get more bombs. Why not? That's it. We need, like, one more planted to get this place to be active again, which I could do right here, but do I want to? I think for now, let's just focus on this thing then. Just, uh... Oh, is that where he took the, the photograph? Oh no, it's right there. Where is that? That's like up to the right. Let's see if I can just see that to begin with. Wasn't it right here? Yeah, it's like here at the bottom. What is this photo that we're looking at? Not too sure. It's not in here. Yeah, not sure what that's about, but yeah, let's uh let's just break out. Why not? Let's see what happens when you do. Uh could you like save? Alright, you cannot make duplicate saves in games. I just went and made a, a backup here, just in case. I just want to see, like, that this isn't, you know, the main objective and then locks me out of doing everything else. Surely this is just, like, one step on the way. Like, hey, you're back. Now go back in the caves and explore stuff, I hope. So, just, just to have the option. Looks like there's a lot more. Ow. Okay, that only does one single point of damage. Art, how did the reproduce? 
Alert! The Cerebrain do not produce protocasts. However, it may be possible to extract a highly meristematic propagule with your field knife. Excellent. Please show me where to make the incision, Art. Uh, what's going on? I thought you were leaving. Since I am here, I am taking a cutting of this Byzania. Oh, so you can plant it somewhere else. Smart move, Leong. If that works, it could repair the broken reservoir. Ah. That is my thought. Art, will the cutting survive if stored in my suit's container? Yes. I will maintain an appropriate temperature range. Good. Should I visit the broken reservoir again, I will attempt to plant this. I see. Oh uh, yeah, you did it! Run for it and you'll make it back to base camp from there. Definitely. Maybe just a little frostbite is all. But do we want to then? I, I mean, let's try it. This seems like we're not going to be able to get back. Is this gonna, just going to be like game over? Just okay, that's your run. You did that much. Good job. You didn't really find out anything. I mean, let's let's go. Let's see what happens. I'm just curious. my purpose what what the heck is this some kind of senior moment he is an ai you're coming here to base camp to be rescued yes but not for many months there is no hurry well i don't want to say anything but i was kind of thinking the same thing i have a sense about left cavern there are mysteries buried here secrets to be discovered uh-huh yeah, so that's how they do it the things we found Reservoirs, signals, megazoa, different weird plants. Lots of stuff we haven't figured out completely. We have discovered the existence of sentient life. It should be investigated further. Oh man. Hmm. Yet, what if you don't go there? Does this. The GSA will want to plan a new mission based on what we have learned. They will not want me risking my life for my own glory. Glory? Since when have you been motivated by glory? If you're thinking about heading back into that cave, I know it's for some other reason. It's up to you, Leong. I'll support you either way. Is it up to me, though? Looks like it's up to me. So, I'm thinking, where did we discover Ferenzoa? Was Feren... were Ferenzoa past here? No, right? Were they? Maybe they were. I can't remember when I discovered Fer Ferenzoa, but either way, you can go past that, by the looks of things. So, oh man, now I'm really curious. I might have to, like, load a backup and try that out. Like, what happens if you don't see the discovery of sentient life and you just go out here? Would you just be like, yeah, okay, let's, let's go. Whatever. We'll discover more later on. For now, we're about nearing the end of the episode, so let's just keep going. If it deletes my save, I always have the backups. That was an abrupt loading screen. That is an abrupt end screen. What? Oh my god. I'm so glad you're safe, Leon. Hey, guess what? I compiled a new script for your jetpack. Oh? It's the ATS X2 program, which makes your jetpack way faster. Oh. I thought you might like that. You can switch between jetpack scripts in the menu. Huh. Thanks, Amani. This is music. Whoa. Wait. She does not care. Amani is superhuman. Oh, seriously? It doesn't really bounce the way you would expect. No achievement? Are you kidding me? Now this is how a real basketball player plays. 
Well, so much for that. And then we can't go past it. Okay, so... Jetpack? Which one is which? BCS XI, or 11. The balanced control script for your X-Series reprogrammable jetpack provides reliability and maneuverability. The perfect combination for subterranean exploration. The augmented thrust script is an experimental high-speed program that enables a heavier thrust component. Advanced pilots will be able to fly very quickly, but watch out for those cave walls! I see. Yeah, so now we're just really fast, but I guess if you fly, like, really fast into a wall, you'll actually take damage. And maybe so now- you made it back. Oh. Wow, there's all kinds of mission data to sort through. I'm gonna keep at it, okay? The GSA rescue mission should be here in eight months or so. Not that they've actually launched it yet. They will soon, I'm sure. Great! There's plenty of time to finish these reports. No rush. Feel free to shoot some hoops, or whatever. I have. But there was no achievement for it, so... Pointless. Sentient life? What a historical discovery! I wonder if we'll ever learn more about them. There could be more evidence buried in that cave. Okay, I don't know how much Amani's gonna talk, so let's just end off the episode here, and then we'll talk more. And then I guess just get back in the cave! So, it is worth going here, to begin with, because then you get an upgrade which we'll see if I even prefer that, if it's like really uncontrollable, but seems good so far. So yeah, there we go. It took a while to get here, but now there's definitely a lot of like interesting things I, I want to try in this game, like different orders to do things in, like going to the right before the collapse and going here before you discover sentient life and I don't know, many other things. It's definitely way more open and flexible at this point than the first chapter or two. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.